I wanna talk a little bit more about what it's like to have a family and be an opera singer. A lot of people have asked me this question, so it is a big challenge. I started my family um, almost at this beginning of my career, so I pretty much don't know another way. But I do observe in my colleagues that, for example, like when 10 a.m. seems like a really early rehearsal to them, I'm like, oh, well, I've been up for hours. So that's kind of a difference. Um, I guess it's just like I'm really pushed really hard to be on all the time. Like it gets really hard. I'm not going to lie. It takes a toll. And so um, the children that will fulfill me in a huge way that I didn't expect, like they're very, very sweet and they need me so much that it like takes me out of my head. Like I can't be obsessed with how I sang if when I come home, like I still have to make dinner, you know what I mean? <laughs> and they still need to be kissed and tucked into bed. And so it's a really interesting experience. It's a really, um, I'm just very fortunate to have the support of my husband who, who makes it possible for me because he goes to rehearsal. I think a lot of people employ a nanny, which is very wise. We had a weird, like thing against that in the beginning, like you should raise your own children. But I see now, like we, you know, when you begin to have children, you think you know everything and you realize pretty quickly that children are professional children and you are an amateur parent. So it's just always like a learning process and trying to work out the kinks is sort of a, that's your job and you just keep doing it. And luckily there's a very big reward at the end when the kids are growing up and like learning to observe the world with, um, wide eyes and see it as a not hostile environment but as a good place and i'm really grateful for the experiences that i get to have as a mother and also for the rewarding musical and artistic experiences i have as an opera singer i don't consider these jobs to be at odds with one another in a way quite the opposite because since i'm fortunate enough to have my children with me on the road most of the time i actually will rehearse three to six hours um a day or excuse me, two, two sessions of three hours a day, typically during the rehearsal process. And then once a show is open, I'll have like multiple days off a week. So I do need to work on music. So I try to have a keyboard with me at home so that I can do it from home. So that if I need to be interrupted to get them a drink of water or whatever, or you know, usually my husband will be kind enough to take care of all of their basic needs while I'm working on music. But I am actually there for them a lot more than the full-time working parent would like normally be in a more typical job. So what it costs is for them to be with me on the road. And I know a lot of people are not unable to do that or they're because of school. So, I mean, my children are still really small. So it's hard to say like what exactly the future holds. I acknowledge that at some point they're gonna have their own activities, their own friends. They're gonna need um, a different environment than the unstable like opera life one that I have to offer. But um, I think also by the, it's kind of sad because by the time they're able to carry their own suitcases and it'll be like less of a pain, I get to, I have to bring less stuff around with me to support their lives. Like they will have to go to school and I will have to go by myself. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the future holds, but right now this is really working for us and we have great experiences. My sons were talking the other day about the Egyptian museum they went to in Turin. This was months ago and they still remember it. And they talk about how they saw a mummy in, in, a, in a hole and they got really excited. And I was just thinking, wow, what a cool enriching life experience. In spite of the fact that I was working, I got to take some time and spend it with them and explore the town in a different way. Also, I feel like they have a more developed palate than maybe some of their peers because they get to try foods uh, in different places, which I consider to be a great part of their education. So there's that, how do I do it? I am really tired a lot of the time and it requires a lot of support in order to be successful. But I think it's worthwhile. Placido Domingo told me that and Renee Fleming also, that they're really glad they had children and they're glad that I have children, that it makes a different thing for you in your life. It makes a different space. So I'm able artistically to express things that I didn't before I had children. It's not to say that everyone needs to have children or whatever, but I think that it is a worthwhile life choice even though it is really challenging. So that is what I have to say on that subject. I'd welcome your questions if you have any to ask about specific things. And uh, thanks for joining me.